So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, you want to make sure that Fortnite or Epic Games are not running. So if you see Fortnite or Epic Games, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and you want to do the same thing. If you see Fortnite or Epic Games running, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in Allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Change Settings and then you want to click on Allow another app and then click on Browse and then click on this PC. Now you want to find out where you have Fortnite installed. So for me, it's on my C drive. Scroll down. Program Files, scroll down again, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then you want to look for the Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping or EXE. You want to double click on it, which will then add it here, then click on Add, and then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search again, and type in View, Network Connections, click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find your network adapter. You want to double click on it, and then click on Properties, and then click on Internet Protocol version 4. And then you want to make sure that use the following GNS server address has been selected. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and then type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on other troubleshooters. And then next to network and internet, you want to click on run. And if you have any problems with your internet connection, then it will tell you how to fix it. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then we're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Now you want to restart your computer and the problem should be fixed. 